hello guys welcome back to my channel um this week's video i thought i would just do a vlog i don't know whether this is going to be a weekly vlog or just a few days in my life but i thought i'd just bring you guys along i think i said in the last video i got a new camera which is what you're on right now um so this is kind of a test of me like vlogging out and about and like how the camera works and stuff um but today is friday i am on easter holidays from uni so i haven't been at uni this week um i go back next week and today i'm actually going to a football match which is kind of unlike me like I don't normally like my sports but one thing I do like is women's football because when like the Euros were on and like was it like two years ago and England won like I watched it all and like me and my dad always go to the matches now so today I'm going to Wembley to see the women's I think it's England versus Sweden it's like to like qualify for the Euros or something I don't really know all the technicalness but I just go because I like it and I'm like oh my god is that is that girl I like her I like that one um so yeah basically we're about to leave to go to Wembley it's currently half 12 the match is at eight o'clock but my dad is that sort of like airport dad that wants to get to things really early and I'm the same so we're basically just going for a day, day out like in central and then we're going to go to the match afterwards because last time we went to a football match we were late because we drove there and there was so much traffic around Wembley that it was just a nightmare um so I'm basically having a day out in central and then going to the match at like eight o'clock um but I currently just got dressed just got ready I'm wearing my uni glow bag like around me because the amount of horror stories I have heard these days about people's phones getting robbed in central London whenever I'm walking about on the streets I am like so careful now like my phone is away my phone's not even like in a pocket in a bag like zipped up with my coat over the top um so that's why I'm wearing this bag kind of looking like a school teacher I'm also wearing I'm wearing this Kaya hoodie and just some jeans and I'm gonna put a puffer over the top um but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this vlog I don't really know what's gonna be in it we'll see what we I get up to in the next week or so um but yeah i'm about to go leave to get in the car to drive to central so i will see you guys when i get there guys I have just got back from Wembley I'm very tired because as I said we went very early um we actually went to Costco because um I have a Costco card and I was like let's go to Costco because it'll be way quieter than any of the other places for food so we went there I had a jacket potato as you saw and then we went to Box Park in Wembley which is where I used to go in like first and second year of uni because my friends used to live in Wembley and we used to go there and like drink there so it was weird going back there um we had a few drinks had some food I forgot to film but yeah just had some chips there and then we went to the football match and it was 1-1 which is kind of sad because the only time I've ever been to the England football matches they normally always win so I was just expecting them to win and they didn't which was kind of sad um but it's fine and I've just got home it is what time is it it's 11 15 I'm very tired right now I feel like I've been walking I've done like 13,000 steps because we parked kind of far away so we had to walk quite far um but I am feeling a bit peckish I don't know if it's all just all the walking but I am feeling a bit hungry and you know what I made yesterday I will show you I made homemade rocky road because I had loads of easter eggs that I didn't I don't really love like just plain chocolate like I prefer like dark chocolate if I'm gonna have some chocolate or like I'd rather eat like a cookie or a donut or something so basically I melted down all my easter eggs and my boyfriend's I just stole all the easter eggs and made rocky road I don't know if you can see it's basically just chocolate easter eggs marshmallows the vegan marshmallows from M&S and rich tea biscuits so I'm gonna have a bit of this before I go to bed because um might as well eat it seeing as I made it yesterday I did not think about the fact that I'd have to like cut this though because I should have put some like grease, grease proof paper 
in the tin, but I did not, so it's kind of hard to get out. God, I feel like I'm gonna do some sort of injury with this big knife. Okay. There's no small plate, so I'm gonna put it in a bowl. Um, I'm gonna make a cup of my favorite nighttime tea as well to go with it. So I feel like I always want like tea with something sweet, because it kind of like, I don't know, it just makes it not as like sickly. This is a massive piece of Rocky Road. I might cut this in half actually, because I'm not gonna eat all that. Yummy. I'm very excited to eat that. Get the bigger bit. Okay, now I've made a mess all over my counter. But like you can hear the kettle noise, but this is my favorite tea ever. This is not sponsored, but I just love this. It's the Pucker Nighttime Tea. I'm not really a herbal tea kind of person. Like I prefer like just like a normal, like British cup of tea with milk in. But this herbal tea is so good. I don't know what it is about it. It kind of has this like sweet kind of aftertaste and it's just my favorite thing ever. And I like have it almost every night before bed. So I'm gonna have one of those with the Rocky Road. Let me pour my tea. Okay, but here is my little evening snack at 11 p.m. I'm gonna eat this and then go to bed and I will see you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. guys good morning it is the next morning i've just woken up and had my bagel as you saw i'm still drinking my coffee um but i actually just woke up to an ikea delivery because i ordered some shelves for our office because we need more storage in here because there's not much storage and we've got a lot of like free kind of space in this room so i'm about to build the shelves I kind of like building furniture, like I find it really relaxing, like make it sort of like the same way I like cooking because like you spend ages doing something and then you get like a fun thing at the end. So I'm going to build those shelves. I ordered the like four, you know, like those like box kind of shelves, the same ones I have in my bedroom next to my dressing table, if you know what I mean. Um, they're only like £40, so I ordered them and the box has just arrived and I'm going to build it now. Um, but I'll do a little time lapse while I build it. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would say hello to you guys today. Today is Saturday. Um, I'm not actually doing much today because my IKEA delivery, they emailed me saying like, you have to be in between like 7am and 7pm. So I didn't make any plans in case it came late and it's just come and it's like 11am now. So gonna build the shelves and then probably just have a day of like sorting my life out. Um, maybe go to the shops, I don't know. Um, probably get a takeaway this evening as usual on Saturdays. I have got lots of uni work to do as usual, which I just end up doing stuff around the house to try and avoid my uni work. But anyway, let's build these shelves because I'm excited to do that. guys editing grace here um i have been editing this vlog and i almost didn't put the following clips in because i filmed it at like a low angle and i feel like i just look awful and i'm just thought i'd add this in to say like everyone also i've got spot patches on and i've just woke up um but i almost didn't want to add in these clips to the vlog because i was like oh my god you, i've got like a double chin because i filmed this from such a low angle like why have i done this Oh my god, I look awful. I've got greasy hair. I've just woke up. Why? What? Like, I shouldn't post this. This is so awful. Like, I look awful. Um, but then I was like, that's so dumb. Like, why am I thinking that about myself? Like, that's like, it doesn't. Even if I have a double chin, like, who cares? Who cares? Um, so I just thought I'd add that in to remind you that you are more than what you look like. And even if I think I look awful in these clips, it doesn't really matter because like 
your looks aren't the most important thing and I've just woken up and it doesn't really matter and yeah I don't really know but a little interlude to remind you that everyone has days where they feel bad about themselves and I'm feeling bad about myself right now editing this vlog um but yeah just a little interlude to be like I know I look bad in these clips but also we shouldn't think that about ourselves so yeah Good morning guys, yesterday was Sunday and I actually did not film all day because I was like doing loads of uni work and I was like oh it's Sunday I'll just like have a day off filming um, and today is Monday morning. I normally like to try and start off my week like early and productive but it is 11am and I've just woken up so you know I guess I was tired. Whenever I sleep in I just think like oh my body needed that sleep so it's fine um, but I'm gonna make breakfast even though it's almost lunchtime. Um, I bought some stuff for yogurt bowls yesterday so I think I'm gonna have that for breakfast because I've run out of bagels so I'm gonna make that. I think the last footage I filmed was on Saturday when I went for a dog walk I think I can't really remember um but I really haven't done anything exciting this weekend I have two presentations at uni this week so I've just spent a lot of time like doing stuff for that um which is kind of boring so I didn't really film it so yeah and tomorrow is my first presentation it's a group one and then I have a personal one on Thursday which I need to like record it's like an online one so I need to actually finish the slides for that and actually like record it um but yeah right now making breakfast okay I've got my outro yogurt some mango and some blueberries and raspberries what I do is I put my yogurt in the bowl oh I need to mix it it's gone a bit separated put my yogurt in do like a few tablespoons and then I get my I put like chia seeds and flaxseed in it I don't really know why I just feel like it makes me feel a bit healthy because I know chia seeds are like really good for you um so I just put some of these on in the yogurt just like I don't know how much and flaxseed this kind of just tastes like powdery dust but it's meant to be good for you and when you mix it in with the rest of the ingredients you can't really taste it so put a bit of that in let me show you so it looks like that and then basically I just mix it in and then while I'm putting the rest of the fruit um on my bowl then it kind of like mixes in because chia seeds you're not meant to eat like dry I don't think because they like get bigger in water and like I think I read somewhere you're not meant to like, have them dry so I like mix it in with the yogurt and then by the time I've like chopped up the fruit and put everything on it then it they've kind of like soaked up a bit of the yogurt if that makes any sense because someone replied to my story the other day like oh my god don't eat chia seeds raw and I was like oh my god don't worry I don't so yeah right I'm gonna put the fruit on I got in the habit of buying my fruit from M&S which is so bad because it's so expensive but like the blueberries and the raspberries from M&S just taste so much nicer than like the Audi ones I normally get and it's like a bit of a treat like they're just so much like sweeter and like taste like real fruit whereas the ones from Audi kind of just taste like like watery nothingness so yeah I'm excited I've got M&S fruit today so blueberries and raspberries I'm putting on there and I've got some mango as well, so I'm going to cut that up. I love mango, but I only like it when it's, like, a bit raw. Not raw, like, not ripe. I don't like it when mango goes, like, mushy and, like, too sweet. I only like it when it's more, like, chewy. So I have to, like, eat this straight away when I get the pack of, like, pre-cut mango. There's my little fruit bowl. I feel like I used to think yogurt bowls were like really healthy but when I made one I was like this actually tastes so good like if you use like nice fruit it honestly just tastes like you're on holiday like it's so good so got my yogurt bowl I'm trying to decide what drink to have with it um normally I have an iced coffee but I have been getting like spots recently I'm pretty sure it's just because I'm stressed um but I, I <laughs> See, I don't want to talk about this online because I feel like it's just like there's so much like misinformation about like health and like people like make you scared of certain foods which you shouldn't be scared of. But I have been trying to drink less oat milk just to see if it makes a difference in my skin. But I've been drinking oat milk for years, like since I was like 12 years old and like my skin has been good and bad during that time. So I don't really think that that's a thing that could be making my skin bad. But I haven't really changed anything in my life. So I'm like, maybe if I stopped drinking oat milk then maybe it will help my skin but I don't really know maybe I just need to drink more water but I have been trying to like have less of my morning coffees and stuff 
Um, I, because I don't really like soy milk in the morning coffees and my boyfriend drinks soy milk but I don't really like soy milk. Um, so I'm trying to think what to have. I might just fill up my water because I try and drink more water every day. I'm going to fill this up with ice and water. Now let's go sit and eat this. Okay, I'm going to eat my yogurt bowl. I'm hungry because it is 11 o'clock. I've just been messaging my friend Liv because um, my friend Liv, I've been friends with her since like I first started doing Instagram in like 2021 and she's coming around my house uh, like the week that I like have my last few exams um, to do a filming day and we're going to film some videos together like similar sort of stuff to like the content I film with Sarah and I might even get Sarah to come around and be in the videos as well. So we've just been messaging each other, like we've been like ordering clothes because we want to do like the same outfits and stuff and I'm just so excited so I'm gonna reply to her now. I've just finished my breakfast and I've written my to-do list for the day and things I need to do is fake tan but I've just realised I don't have any fake tan left so I'm going to have to go to the shop. Um, what have my I'm going to have my fake tan on in the day while I'm doing uni work and then later on when I wash it off I'll wash my hair. I've got to finish my presentation for uni and then I'm having a group call with my like group project for my presentation tomorrow tonight at seven o'clock um so first thing i need to do is go to boots to buy some tan because i have tans in my cupboard like eight hour ones but i just my favorite tan is the one hour bondi is it bondi tans they're like one hour one because then you only have to wear it for like two hours and then it's like really dark so i'm gonna go and get that come back put the tan on maybe like put a hair mask in or like oil my hair and then I can just get on with uni work all day and let my hair and my tan like marinate and then wash it off later so that's my plan for the day um but yeah I'm gonna go to boots I might just put a tracksuit on over my pajamas because I live very close to the shops and I can just go there and hope that no one sees me um so yeah I'm gonna go do that and I'll be back with my tan I've got joggers on and I've still got my pyjama top on and I'm going to do my puffer jacket up so hopefully no one realises I'm wearing pyjamas underneath this outfit. Can you tell? Okay, I don't think you can tell I'm wearing pyjamas. I really hope I don't see anyone I know because I've got really greasy hair. I haven't even washed my face yet and I've just woke up. But let's go to Boots to buy some fake tan. just got back from the shops why did it cost me 30 pounds they were buy one get one half price so i was like well i might as well buy two because i know i need another one at some point but i swear that fake tan is so expensive but it's the best one so i have to spend the money it's so funny i'm just wearing my pajamas underneath i did not see anyone i know which is good so yeah okay i'm gonna take you guys to the bathroom and we can do this stuff Welcome to my bathroom. I don't know how the lighting is in here. I feel like that's too bright. But with this new camera, I don't know what settings to do on it. So we're just gonna hope it's fine. Um, so I'm gonna oil my hair first. This is something I do like when I remember, like I don't always do it, but if I'm like having a day where like I know I'm washing my hair in the evening and I'm not doing anything, I'll put oil on my hair. So I'm gonna brush it through first because it always, I always wake up with knots in my hair. I don't know, I think it's because I've got like very fine, hair even though it's thick it just tangles so easily so let me just brush it first okay now i've brushed it through i'm gonna put in my hair oils i use this one for my roots i got sent this i don't really know like much about it it's just called fable and main hair oil stronger hair begins with healthy roots so i always put this like in the roots of my hair and then for the ends of my hair i think i'm gonna put in this one i also got sent this i don't really know like much about the brand but i've been using this one recently it kind of reminds me of the olaplex oil the like number three olaplex oil um but because it's like a bigger pack i feel like i can use it more like i don't need to be as like sparing like I, with the olaplex one i'm like oh, this is so expensive i need to use a tiny drop but because this is a bigger bottle i'm like i can use those of it so let me put in this in my roots first I'm just gonna like put it all over my head and then just 
just like rub it in. I do this sometimes as well if I'm doing like a slick back hair instead of using like hair gel or something I'll just use hair oil because I feel like it's better for your hair because it's like actually moisturizing it. Put some more in. Okay there's my roots looking very greasy and now I'm gonna put in this one in the ends of my hair. I'm just gonna put loads. When I was younger I used to use this oil called Alma oil that I used to get from Superdrug. It was like two pounds and I remember that was really good. It was like a, it was like this like traditional hair oil. Um, I'll try to put a picture on screen but I, I recommend that if you don't want to spend money on like expensive hair oils because when you're like hair oiling your hair before you wash it, I, it is kind of silly because like obviously it is good for your hair but then you just like wash it all out whereas um, my like Olaplex oil, I put that in like after I've washed my hair. So that's kind of like worth the money more because I'm not like washing it out straight away. Um, but for just like hair oiling, I feel like you can use kind of any sort of oil. I know some people use like coconut oil or like olive oil um, and you can get on like TikTok those like hair syrup ones, which are meant to be good. I've never tried those, but yeah, there's some other options. I just use kind of whatever oil I have luckily I get sent a lot of hair stuff from brands which is good so I'll just use kind of any random one I have in the cupboard. Okay now my hair is looking very greasy um, I'm just gonna tie it up with a claw clip just to kind of keep it out my face while I fake tan and just out my face because I hate like the feeling of greasy hair like it kind of like gives me the ick. So let me just tie this up with a claw clip. Okay, there we go, there's my hair. Um, I will probably leave this for just kind of as long as possible. Right now it is 12 o'clock, so I'll probably wash my hair tonight at like eight or 9 p.m. So it's gonna be left in for quite a few hours. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is fake tan. I won't show you guys that because I am gonna not have any clothes on. Um, this is not an ad, but this is the tan I use, as you saw, I just went to Boots to get it. Um, the Bondi Sands Aero one hour express this is my favorite tan i've used like five bottles of it before and i do like other tans but just i hate sleeping in my tan so if i can i will always buy like a one hour express and leave it on for like two or three hours because then you're getting like the, the dark color as you as you would like with the overnight ones but you can just wear it in the daytime because i hate getting my sheets all like fake tanny and my boyfriend always complains so yeah basically i'm gonna put this on with a mat mitt everywhere might do a few layers and then i put on some pajamas i've got these these pajamas from plt are like full length like satin pajamas so then the tan won't like transfer on like the sofa or anything when i sit down so yeah gonna do that and put on my pajamas so i will see you guys after i've tanned hello guys i have fake tanned i'm looking kind of crazy and the fake tan kind of spilt on my pajamas um but i'm gonna keep this on for a few hours. I am hungry, it is lunchtime, it's actually like half one so I'm getting quite hungry. And I was trying to think what to have for lunch and I really fancy a cheese toastie so I'm just gonna make that. Not the most healthy thing but you know, it's what I fancied so I'm gonna have that. Um, I've got like nice white bread from m &S, so I'm just gonna make a cheese toastie. So what I do is just get some white bread, you've gotta make it with white bread, it's way better and then butter it on both sides, on like the outside of the bread. So when you put it in the pan, it goes like crispy on the outside. So I'm just using some flora. If you didn't know the flora, like buttery one is vegan and it's like the best vegan like butter alternative in my opinion. So I'm just gonna butter the outside of the bread and then put it in the pan. And then while I'm waiting for that to crisp up, I'm gonna cut the cheese. And put it on the bread. Okay, I've put the bottom layer of the bread and then the cheese on top and then I just wait for a minute and then I put the top layer on and then like flip it. If that makes any sense. Let me show you. Here is my cheese and then I put on the slice. Put on top the bread and then I'll wait for a bit for it to cook and then I'll just flip it over. my lunch a little cheese toasty that is the most random little lunch but I wasn't feeling too hungry so I'm gonna eat this and carry on with my uni work I 
I've just made a cup of tea. Um, I've basically been sat scrolling through TikTok for the past like hour since I've had my lunch. I'm so bad at like procrastinating uni work. Like I don't know how I've survived this long because because I know the presentation I've got to film isn't due till Thursday, like my individual one. I'm like, I'll just do it on Wednesday. Like, why do I need to do it today? Today's Monday. And that's so dumb because it's like, I should not be doing my assignments the night before. Same with my like dissertation. That's not due till like the 10th of May. And I'm like, I've got a whole month. Like, why would I waste today writing my uni work when I could just scroll on TikTok, which is so bad and is really not the mindset to have because if I just actually did my uni work now, I could submit it and then be finished and then like I would have more free time in May rather than having the free time now and then being stressed in May. So I don't really know why I do this to myself. Um, my fake tan is still on as you can probably tell from my very stained pyjamas. Um, but I just made myself a cup of tea because I was feeling a bit cold. I'm a bit cold but I'm trying to not put the heating on because our heating bill was so much last month. Um, but then I don't want to sweat, I don't want to put like um, a hoodie on and get sweaty because then my fake tan will come off. So I just made a cup of tea to make myself warm up a bit. Um, and I have just reminded myself that I ran out of matcha, my favourite banana matcha. Um, I had like a little sample size one of it and my friend Casey reminded me of it and like I want to order some more. So I'm going to go order some banana matcha, which is again just me procrastinating doing my uni work. Um, I have a group call at 7 for my group presentation, which is tomorrow. So it, at least I'll do some uni work then, but I'm just so bad, like I'm such a procrastinator. And I think moving, after moving out, it's not helped because if I have time to spare, like I'll just clean the flat, I'll go grocery shopping, I'll organize the fridge, I'll like tidy up, I'll mop, but tidy the bathrooms, so much stuff. I Like there's so many more things I can procrastinate now that I live in my own house because I've got like so many things to clean all the time and like cook and everything. Whereas at home I just kind of had my bedroom to keep tidy whereas now I have like a whole house to keep tidy. And because my boyfriend's like in the office most of the days a week, it's just me sat here on my own being like, oh, that's messy, I'll tidy that. I'll put a podcast on and tidy this area. But it's like, no, I should be doing my uni work. Also, my friends just told me that we've only got two weeks left of in-person classes which is really scary because I thought we had like six weeks left but apparently we only have two weeks because then they just like don't have any more classes because we're meant to just get on with our work so that's kind of made me worry and yeah basically just really procrastinating today not really doing much work drinking a cup of tea I'm gonna go order some matcha and catch up with you guys in a bit my fake tan is still marinating so we'll see what I get up to the rest of the day Hello you guys, it has been a few hours. I haven't actually done any more uni work, but I did edit a few TikToks, so that was kind of productive. Um, I'm about to jump in the shower to wash my tan off. I am gonna wash my hair too, because obviously I put the oil in it, and I have my group presentation tomorrow, so I want my hair to look nice. Um, I always use the most random collection of hair products. People like ask my hair care routine, but honestly, I'm just so lucky that I get sent loads of hair products and like, I will just use whatever I have in the cupboard. Like I, I don't really have a preference. Um, and then if I do love something, I will like repurchase it with my own money. But most of the time, like I'll get something else to try and then I wanna try that. And by the time like I have too many shampoos, like open at once. Um, so I have quite a few open right now, but I thought I would just show you the ones I'm using at the moment if you wondered, they're like over here. Um, this range, I actually, when I last got my hair cut in the hairdressers, they told me to buy this and then I got sent it luckily by L'Oreal, which was very lucky. Also, does anyone else's stuff, this looks so gross. I think it's because of the hard water. I don't know if that's a thing, but when I lived at home, we had like a water softener and it didn't, my stuff didn't do this in the shower, but since I've lived here, it has. Like I get all this like white stuff, like on all my like products and like around the shower and stuff. I think it's because of the hard water. I think that's the thing. Do people say like the water in London is like hard water? Um, and like, look, all the like labels peel off of everything. Um, but this is one that I have been using. I've used kind of half of it. You can see the L'Oreal Pro Longer. Although I did kind of notice that, I don't know if it was that product, but I was getting a bit like of a dry scalp. I don't know if that's just cause it's cold outside, but I don't know if that was because of this. So then I was like, right, I'll stop using this for a bit and try a different product to see if it was giving me like the dry scalp. And what I was using instead of that was these ones, which I got sent from 
Lee Luo, never heard of this brand, but this is the same brand as the hair oil I used, I think. Um, and they're both called moisturizing conditioner and shampoo because for the longest time I was using products that are like designed for like breakage and like, you know, like Olaplex, like the whole routine. But then when I got my hair cut, they were like, why are you using stuff for like bleached hair and like your hair's like pretty healthy? Like apparently it can like make it, make your hair worse if you're like using those sort of products. I don't know if that's true. Again, look how gross the bottle lids go. If anyone has any recommendations on how I can stop this happening, but maybe I should get like a filter for my, I see those like TikTok ads of those like filtered shower heads. Maybe I should get one of those because this is not giving, it doesn't make my bathroom look very aesthetically pleasing. Um, but yeah, another shampoo that I've been liking and this hasn't given me like the dry scalp. So I think maybe it was that L'Oreal one, but I'm not too sure. And then I also have other things randomly. This Garnier hair, food water thing i've used products like this before like i think i've used the l'oreal version and it basically is like this water you put on like after you wash your hair and it's meant to make your hair just like shinier kind of like a gloss kind of treatment thing i do really like this and it smells of bananas so i use that about maybe like once every other wash or something and then i also got sent this living proof detox shampoo um and i've been using this like if i have loads of hair oil in or if i put loads of dry shampoo in my hair that week then i will use the detox shampoo instead of just like the moisturizing one um and i've been quite liking this too like i don't as i said i don't really have too much of a preference of hair care because i feel like it is mainly down to genetics like my hair is just kind of nice and thick like naturally no matter what i use but yeah that's the stuff i've been kind of using in the shower in the past few months um but yeah i'm gonna shower wash my tan off wash my hair with probably that detox shampoo and like whatever conditioner I decide to use. Um, and then after I get out of the shower, I'm gonna moisturize. My favorite moisturizer right now is, it's always the Sol de Janeiro ones. These are very expensive, but in my opinion, they are really good. Like obviously if you're on a budget, they're, they're very expensive, but they are like so nice. Like a nice, like if it's your birthday or something, you could get one. Um, I've been using the purple one because I went to one of their events and they gave me, and I was like so happy. I was like, oh my God, I've saved myself like 40 pound, but we are running low on that. But my favorite one I think still is the Bum Bum Cream one, which is this one. I asked my boyfriend for one for Valentine's Day and he got me this tiny one. I feel like boys just don't understand like, I don't think he knew that I meant the big one. He must have seen the price and been like, oh, she means this one. But this one is tiny, but um, I've basically used all that too. So I'm running out of those, but I will be moisturizing my body with those after the shower. So yeah, I'm gonna go shower and I will catch up with you guys in a bit. Hello guys, I am out the shower. I've washed my hair, I've washed my tan off. It hasn't gone that dark, but I'm pretty sure with the one I want, it gets like darker overnight. So hopefully it will get a bit darker. Um, but for dinner, I'm gonna make a tofu katsu curry because I have a pack of tofu in the fridge that is going off. So I need to have eat it today because it's like used by today. Um, I actually have my call with my group project meeting in like half an hour. So I'm gonna get started with dinner quickly have my call and then like finish making dinner afterwards um but I've just been editing my vlog this video you're watching right now and it's well I put all the footage into my editor I haven't edited it yet but it says it's an hour and a half worth of footage so I've decided I should probably stop vlogging because it's going to kill the memory on my iPad which I use to edit on if I film any more footage because I feel like I film so much it'll probably end up being like a 20 minute vlog by the time I cut it all down because a lot of stuff I film for like time lapses so I'll have like a 20 minute clip or something and then it ends up being like five seconds in the video um but anyway I feel like I should probably stop filming but yeah I hope you enjoyed this vlog a bit of a random one it's kind of like a new kind of not a new idea I have done like vlogs like this before but now that I have my camera I feel like I have more like freedom to like film because like the quality is better I can film like at night and like I can film in my bathroom and like show you more kind of stuff than I could on my phone because otherwise it would just be too fuzzy and I can film for longer too which is fun so let me know if you enjoyed this video this sort of style of vlog let me know what you want to see from me if you've made it to the end of this video I really salute you because probably no one's made it to the end anyway so but I'm just talking to myself at this point um but I hope you're all having a good week and if you want to see me post every single Sunday on my YouTube channel these long videos and then I post like every day on all my other platforms which is all just at Grace Tutty um but yeah I hope you're having a good week and I will see you in my next video bye